thrilled Thank to be you so much. a part. <laughs> I think really as soon as they sent me um, the description for Lubici and just what the world would look like and even like the poster, I was really drawn to it. I've always wanted to do dubbing. That's always what I've wanted to do. I love that stuff. Um, my friends do too. They, they actually want to do it. I was giving them tips on how to do it. Um, but I was very excited. The animation's fantastic. It really surprises you a lot. There's a bunch of vibrant colors. It's very beautiful. Um, we have an amazing team, just an amazing, awesome, nice team. And I was really lucky to be a part of it. Um, yes. In something like this. Yeah, I mean, um, it was it's it's amazing. I, it's an honor to be there. I was very excited. It was it was very challenging, but I like the challenge. It was something definitely switching it up, um, coming from normal animation that hasn't been animated yet. Um, and I was very excited because I've I've never done anything like that before, and I'm pretty sure it was it was three or four weeks of four hour four hour um sections for the movie. Mm -hmm. And I think, I think that um, gradually uh, I got more used to it, which is awesome. And I think I, if you go back, you can tell I got more comfortable with the character and with the whole movie, the team. And it, by the end, it, it was really hard to say, oh, we're finished because like I was used to going in every day. So I, I loved it a lot. It was, it was very challenging because as you could tell, I ramble and I talk really quick. <laughs> um, so you, you kind of have to really really listen to what i'm saying so i have to slow it down and then of course when the parts of the action or when i get really mad i talk fast so it's kind of hard to get used to talking slow and then i have to talk fast again when i'm mad or like the donkey kong part for instance the the homage um that's also crazy because you have to run and all that stuff and you can barely see the lips because it's 2d on that part so it's it was really hard but amazing and fun and i'm so happy that i was able to do it Thank you. So you were too. Yeah. Um. I think ever since I started acting, because it's always been a mix of on-screen acting and voiceover acting. Um. I've actually never been in like a studio with everybody else. Um. All the um voiceover jobs that I've ever done, if it was like a guest star to a series regular, I never met any of the cast ever once. This is actually the first time I've met a cast of a voiceover job. So I was very happy. Everyone was really nice, and the cast is amazing. But it, it's really difficult sometimes because I'm a very social person, and especially now everybody's on Zoom. And I'm, I'm just sitting in a room with no windows, just staring at a microphone. But I think it was actually good for me because I got more attached to the movie, and I felt like I was, like, inside the world pretty much because there was nothing else to distract me from it. Um. So actually what they did since it was dubbing, they did ADR. So they, they would play the beeps, and they would they would show me the scene. And I would have to, on a, like, timing, match it with my voice to the screen. So throughout the whole thing, since most of my scenes are with Kupel, it was very easy to imagine what he was like. Um, I never got to hear, like, the English version until the um, the movie premiere. So that was really cool. So I was I was really close to um, to the the film, especially with Kupel, because I mean I was I always saw him on screen. So that that. That's that's where I came from with seeing him always on screen. Mm. There's two for me. Um, I think the friendship theme and the father theme, but I think the friendship theme was was really cool with um Antonio, which not me, but the character Antonio and Lubici being like these these lost friends that you can tell really want to be friends with each other, but they both have different opinions that collide, and then they they sort to come together almost at the end, and it's very sweet seeing how. They, they were brought together by by the events in the movie. And it was very awesome. I had the actor, Tristan, who played Antonio, sitting next to me. And we really bonded. It was the first time we ever met. And we were, like, fist bumping each other through the whole thing. And I think, I think that the whole bringing people together aspect of this movie really resonates with a lot of people. And, like, there's a whole different crowd of a bunch of people, I mean, from everywhere, all around the world, that came to see it and... I was very happy to see everybody. Very Thank much. you so much. Really appreciate